Hey guys, how are you? This is Mr. Argetta coming to you a day before we start classes. So classes start tomorrow, but I wanted to get this video out to you because I think it's important for you to understand how this class is structured. Uh, sorry for the bad lighting here. Um, I've been um, forced to make this video in a dark room, unfortunately, so I don't have very good lighting that illuminates um, me. But anyhow, I hope this gets the message across. But basically, I wanted to give you a quick update on what to expect when you get started. First and foremost, uh, a book, physical book is not required, but you are required to have an access code. So please make sure you get that done right away. Uh, you get two free weeks from McGraw Hill. So if you don't have it today, which it should be Monday, uh, make sure to use the two free weeks right away to get your work started. Because I do not accept late work and I don't go back. I don't open ahead. Uh, we work on the week that we're working on and that's it. Uh, so please make sure you get started right away. This is an eight week course, technically a seven week weeks of work and then one week of a final make sure you get that all done so um, this is the way it's structured over here on the left hand side you're going to have weekly assignments it's going to be categorized by week one week two and so on every week you're working on two chapters this is not a consecutive chapter role. I'll show you what I mean. The first two chapters, chapter one and chapter two on week one. But week two will skip some chapters. So I want you to pay attention. Don't do your work through McGraw-Hill. Actually connect through here and only work on what's in folder two. Don't jump to the, black, the discussion board to do your work. Only work on the assigned weekly assignments, which is week one, week two, and so on. Every week, you got two chapters and a discussion, all right? The chapters will look like this. There's a smart book, which is either a 100 or a zero. I want to make sure you understand a smart book is an adaptive learning mechanism, which means that if you just jump to the questions and you answer, I might know this or I know this a little bit, then it's going to assume that you don't know the information and they keep giving you questions about that topic. But if you were to actually read the highlighted parts in this smart book and then do it, then you should know the information and answer the questions as I know this information. And the system will recognize that you understand that topic and it'll move on. It'll cover and say, they got it, they'll move on. So I get students every semester. It goes, it's taking me forever to finish the smart book. And it's because the student is not understanding the information so the system continues to feed them questions of those topics so they're either just guessing through it or they're saying i don't know this and taking a guess so please make sure you take time to do this properly because you only get a hundred or a zero there's no 50 percent done 60 you got to complete it or it's nothing um homework and then your chapter quizzes what you need to know about chapter quizzes is I use the chapter quiz questions, weekly chapter quiz questions for your final. So please make sure somehow you remember or keep them or know the information because you will see those questions populated again. All right. That being said, the last thing that will be in your assignment will be a discussion, right? Every week you'll have a discussion. Week two's discussion is talking about small business. Week one which you should be working on this week you have to do your syllabus quiz which is super simple i know how to get a hold of my professor i know how i'm being graded i'm good check check done super easy <coughs> excuse me guys the allergies has been bothering me lately your syllabus is here we'll look at that in a second but the discussion is right here the first discussion is really about you. Tell me about yourself, right? And what I want you to do here is I want to make sure that you are um, taking advantage of discussion. So the first one is easy because it's simple. It's about you. But the weeks after that, it starts focusing on topics that are relevant to our, our assignments. For example, week three, we're going to be doing becoming a better leader and knowing what it is to be a leader and evaluating, self-evaluating yourself and telling me after you do some research, what are some of those qualities that you need to implement in your own leadership style to improve your leadership, right? So make sure that you're ready to have a discussion. I don't have a word minimum, but I do have at least a paragraph for your discussion. If you give me a one sentence reply, I will not grade that as a discussion. Discussions are very, very, very important to me. I'll show you why. If we go back to week one in your syllabus, this is how you're being graded. 
All right, let's go here. By the way, guys, the easiest and best way to get a hold of me is through my email, lrgeta at gntc.edu. Okay, you don't need a physical book, but you do need the access code. You cannot do this course without the access code, and you get two free weeks to get started. But this is how you're being graded, guys. I want you to understand how this works because this is where most of my students have a struggle with. As I mentioned, the Learn Smart is the smart book. 30% of your grade is that smart book of your overall grade, right? 30%. That means you could only get 100 if you complete the smart book. That means 30% of that A has been done. Now, look, 30% of your grade is from participation and discussions. Those two right there, if you do them right, you get 60% of your overall grade. So if you get those A's and those two, 60% is already done. 10% is your final exam. So if you add those two together, that's 70%. You're already at a C. And the last bit of it is your weekly quizzes and homeworks. But here's what I want you to understand. Discussions are only six or seven of them. You have seven discussions each of each one of them weigh a lot on your final grade where you only or you have like there's seven two times a week there's 14 there's like 30 different assignments so each one of those learn, uh, uh, homeworks or weekly quizzes are only like a point each they don't weigh that much if you miss one quiz or one homework it's not going to hold you back as much as if you miss one discussion so keep that in mind. If you have to negotiate, you can't do something or something happens. Personally, I would skip a homework before I skip a weekly quiz because those questions will be at the final. But I would never skip a Learn Smart, nor would I ever skip a discussion. Right. Discussions. This is what's expected. You post your original comments or your original post of that question. You reply to two of your classmates and you reply to a video that I will post inside a discussion like a thread talking about last week, this week, and the next week, giving you an update on how the class is going. So please make sure at the end of the week, you have done four interactions in the discussion post. Your original, two students, and my video. Four interactions, okay? Grading system as, as usual, 90 to 100, 80 to 89, 70 to 79, 60 to 69, and 59 and below is an F. All right. That should cover most of it, guys. If you want to get a hold of me, please just send me an email. It goes directly to my phone. I can answer right away. I do not answer right away if it's late at night or some random times, but most of the time I try to get you an answer as soon as I can. So make sure you're using that as your resource. I think that's about it. I will be posting inside of your discussion my introduction video. Since I'm asking you to introduce yourself, I will be introducing myself, sending it out to the class, and then going from there. So make sure you reply to my video, to other students, and put your own introduction. All right, guys, I think that should cover it. I hope you're having a great time in the summer. I hope this goes successfully for everybody. Have a wonderful day, and we will talk to you soon. And I hope to see you guys online. Take care.